Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand how to do cross-validation in K nearest neighborhood algorithm using RapidMind. The K nearest neighbors algorithm is a simple supervised machine learning algorithm that can be used to solve both classification and regression problems. It is easy to implement and understand but has a major drawback of becoming significantly slow as the size of the data increases. Now we want to carry out cross-validation in KNN algorithm. The cross-validation is a resampling method that uses different portions of the data to test and train a model on different iteration. It is mainly used in settings where the goal is a prediction and one wants to estimate how accurately a predictive model will perform in practice. So basically, we divide the data set into two parts, training and testing. The training data set is fitted to the cross-validation where the parameters are given and the cross-validation will find out the base parameters. These base parameters will be again loaded on the model and the model will be retrained. The model will be, the final model will be evaluated with the help of the test data which we have, which we have segregated. Now consider this the entire data. We will divide the data into two parts, training and testing. This training data will be again divided into some folds, fold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will have to specify 5 fold or 10 fold. Now in the first split, all the green ones are the training data and the blue ones are the testing data. In second, now the training data will change and the testing will change. We will run this number of times and we will find out the best parameters. This base parameter is fitted on the model and the model is evaluated on the basis of the test data. Now how we can do this in rapid minor? Let's see. First of all, we will load the data set part 1. We will connect this spline with the result input. I will press this play button. And you can see here, the attributes which are there in our data set are age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, max HR, exercise, yes or no, old pig, ST slope and the heart disease, which is captured as yes or no. So I want to build up a model on the basis of these attributes to classify that the patient is having a heart disease, yes or no. Again, I'll go in design window and I'll activate the operator, which is select the attributes. I'll drag it and drop it here. Select attribute operator. Now, why we are using this operator? Because it may, it, it may be possible that your data set may be having the large set of variables and all the variables are not our matter of interest. So I'll only select few of them. So I'll go in subsetting it, select the attributes and now I'll select those attributes from which I want to make the model. So age, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old pig, and resting blood pressure is considered and I'll transfer it here, here, apply. Now I'll activate the set role operator. KNL algorithm falls in the category of supervised machine learning. And here we have to specify which is our target variable. So I'll specify attribute name as a heart disease. Make sure that the target role is labeled. I'll activate the cross validation operator from here. Cross validation. And I'll drop it here. Now, when any operator consists consists of two layers, it means that it is having a sub process, main process and sub process, or the parent process and the child process. When you'll double click, you will enter into the sub process area. You can see here now that now the screen has been divided into two parts: training and testing. So here we will activate the KNL algorithm here. I'll drop the KNL algorithm. I'll connect the training with the training data set and the model with model. Example with through. Again, I'll go here and this time I'll write apply the model. Whatever model which we have prepared with the help of KNL algorithm. I'll use this model for testing data. So model testing with the unlabeled. 
I'll request all of you that please refer my previous videos to understand the flow of this entire series. Now, I will evaluate the performance of this model with the help of performance operator. Make sure that you pick up the performance operator which is related to the classification. I will drag it and drop it here. I will connect label with label, performance with performance, example with the test. Press the up arrow. And again, you will come in the main process. Now, connect model with the result, example with the result, test with the result, and the performance with the result. Now, just press this play button. And the results are ready. Now, the first thing which you have to see is the classification accuracy. 241 cases are such where a person was not having the heart disease and the prediction of the algorithm was also correct. 54 are such cases where a person was having a heart disease and algorithm also predicted that yes, uh, the patient is having a heart disease. So 354 plus 241 are correctly classified cases. But the misclassification has happened here. A person was having a heart disease, but the algorithm predicted that the person is not having the heart disease. Here, a person was not having the heart disease, but the algorithm predicted that the patient is having the heart disease. And this is a misclassification which has happened. Basically, this is considered to be the leakage in the model. So what is this figure? This figure gives us the classification accuracy in no category. And this figure gives the classification accuracy in yes category. And that is a classic recall. You can go in example set to find out where the class classification has been done correctly. So if, if I talk about the second case, yes and no. So here the classification was not accurate. Here no and no. Therefore the classification was accurate by the algorithm. So this is a way you can do the cross validation in rapid minor for more videos on rapid minor please subscribe to my channel you can also see my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos of rapid minor uh, you can you can press the like button please follow me on linkedin and twitter